Hello, my name is Tina Clark. I'm a finance manager at NHS England South West. As part of Future Focus Finance, I'm here to help you solve some of your more complex problems within the workplace. When you've got a simple problem, it's easy to solve it with a simple solution. If your manager is asking for the monthly report, print them off a copy. If you've got contentious relationships with another colleague, avoid interactions if you can help it. Simple problem, simple solution. What if the problem isn't so simple? If you try to solve a complex problem with a simple solution, that simple solution will end up creating another problem. For example, what if patients are being referred incorrectly? The solution would be to put the patient in a bed until a more senior staff becomes available to diagnose the patient. This problem would then lead to increased bed days. The solution would be to implement better training which would lead to a coverage problem. So the solution would be to approve over time, thereby creating a budget problem. So when you tackle a complex problem with a simple solution, you're then likely to give up and you might find yourself resigned to it, saying things like, it's always been like that, it's never gonna get resolved. You start blaming the system rather than the, the technique you're using to tackle the problem. So how would you go about tackling a complex problem without getting stuck in the loop? Dr. Shoji Shiba has identified seven steps which should help you solve the problem once and for all. Step one would be to define the problem. What is it really? Is it the amount of work or how long it takes? Is it the difficulty of the work or perhaps a training issue? Is it a communication issue or jointly a management issue? Step two is data collection. Go to the source and do a bit of research. Perhaps collaborate and network with departments where data collection and analysis is their expertise, such as the CSU, NHS Improvement and the Research and Evaluation Team. Step three is cause analysis. When you collected the data, you can then ascertain what's going on and why. Perhaps it's down to the introduction of a new product or epidemic. See if there's a trend in similar situations. Step four is solution planning. This can take some time to plan well and implement. If you've done the research, it'll be worth the effort. Step five is evaluation. You then group your findings to find out what worked well and what didn't. If it didn't work, then you go back to step two, data analysis. So step six is standardization. If your solution works, you should seek to use it across other departments. Do what you can to widely adopt the learning. Step seven is evaluation. The idea is to learn from the work done and then share the learning so others can repeat the success. I'll give you an example. I listened to a fascinating talk by Matthew Cripps, head of Right Care. He defined the problem as patients weren't getting the right care first time, leading to overexpenditure. The right care team looked at activity data and identified the top 50 most expensive patients linked to low-cost services. These patients were high cost due to incorrect referrals and persistent calls. They found the causation was that the top 50 high-cost patients mainly needed someone to talk to. What most of them really needed was counselling. Their solution was then to introduce one advanced paramedic practitioner who was tasked to target calls to these patients. They evaluated the savings which came to approximately £2.2 .2 million across two CCGs. So now they are looking at standardising and implementing the solution across other like-for-like -like CCGs. Then evaluate and continually improve from feedback, tweaking it to different population sizes and locality. So how am I using these steps to solve duplication of work? To define the problem, everyone is trying to do the same thing, just rebranding it, calling it under a different name. I notice duplication of work is prolific in the NHS. So I went about collecting data from the CCGs to look at what they're doing to make viable savings. It was clear that departments weren't communicating with each other. 
So one solution is to create a relaxed forum for open discussion. I'll be encouraging departments to network and link closely with each other. I'll be setting up workshops to teach techniques to help departments collaborate and share the learning. If it hasn't worked, I'll go back to step two and look at the data collection. But if, if it does work well, I'll endeavour to roll the solution out to other regions. Taking account of local expertise. So next time you have a complex problem, don't get caught up in the loop where every solution is a new problem. Instead, take the time to do the seven steps. Follow the steps to pinpoint what exactly is driving the issue. Learn from it and share the learning. As Ken Blanchard would say, not one of us is as smart as all of us. Thank you.